Welcome to the FE Builds channel. Today's video is going to be slightly different. It's not our regular mod video, but it is going to be interesting. We've got something awesome to show you, something that a lot of people have wanted to see, and that is comparing and exploring the three door chimney and the five door chimney side by side. And uh, this answers a lot of questions because many people are concerned about the length the extra weight and the main concern that I've seen coming up is that many people think it might be a bit too long so it's a lot bigger than the standard uh, three-door Gen 4 Jimny but there's not much of a difference more space for luggage and this is it right here as you can see the all-new five-door Suzuki Jimny so stay tuned and enjoy the video I'll show you some key differences between the two and some nice things that they've added on in terms of the infotainment system and different things but i'll say it up front right now i like this vehicle i like it it looks nice i parked mine side by side and it's not much longer sometimes it's good to see things side by side and it gives you a good view and a good picture of what the new model looks like and the difference between the two so stay tuned and enjoy So basically the three door ends about here. So this is the extra that you get on the five door. It's not too much. And also the, the wheelbase is longer. You can see the two. They actually parked on par, um, but you can see the difference in the length. much longer side wall over there. So at this point, one thing that's worth noting is that the rear seats in the five door Jimny are very similar in size to the front seats in the three door Jimny. And it's a bit more spacious at the back there because the wheel arches are a bit further back. So you would notice if you've sat at the back of a three door Jimny, that wheel arch does protrude and the seat has to cater for that. And the seat basically sits between the two arches. So in the five door Jimny, it's not the case and there's a bit more space. So now that we've seen the length of the Jimny's, let's take a look at the space in the boot. There's quite a lot of space as you can see a lot more than uh, the three door. The seats are folded up and you can still fit some nice small luggage over there. And with the seats folded down, you can fit a bit more above them. They don't fold down fully like the three door, but they do fold down. One thing to note is that the rear light has been moved over the rear seats. It's no longer in the position that it used to be in the three door Jimny, which is up there at the back. It's been moved over the rear seats, but they have made provision for it. And it's on the left side, just above the 12 volt socket. There is a small light over there that lights up the boot. there and then it's got a second recline second position. position that's very nice that's so at right. least it's not all the way up yeah and then the tools and all of that is very nice okay so this is the rear section of the three-door Jimny gen 4 and uh, as you can see this is the difference the seats do fold down fully uh, but there's a reason it creates this effect the wheel arches over here and they actually stick out quite a lot when you actually pull the seat up and uh, you'll see that soon but basically this is the difference 
um, the five door has a lot more space. You can load a lot more when you fold the seats down. If this didn't have this box over here, it would be very awkward because there would be a space down here, just like the five door and the seats would be there. But let me just fold up one of the seats and then you can see that's the first position. In fact, let's do both. As I was saying, the rear seats on the three door are actually thinner than the rear seats on the five door. Um, and if you recline the seat a bit, I believe it can come back a bit more. That is the difference. There's your boot space when your backseat passengers are sitting comfortably. Okay, so this is me sitting in the back of the five door Jimny. And as you can see, there's not that much knee room for me. Um, and this isn't a problem that many people will face. I face this in many vehicles, including in one bus I had to sit in when we were in Zimbabwe and we were heading to camp to get our 4x4 vehicles. Um, I had to sit sideways for 300 kilometers in order to get there. I couldn't sit with my knees uh, facing straight forward towards the seat in front of me. So yeah, if you push the seat forward, there's a bit more space. I believe there's a bit more room, um, knee room in the five door than in the three door. But in my personal comparison, it seems just the same. As you can see over here, as I'm showing you, the seats are slightly wider in the back of the five door because they've played around with the space around the wheel arches and that gives space and room just to relax a bit more for your back passengers. There is Optimus that we are currently building. There's some things on Optimus that you'll see in this video that I haven't yet updated you on, but the updates will come as soon as we are ready, as soon as we get confirmation from the different manufacturers that we can go ahead and do it. So yeah, this is me at the back seat and I am about 1.85 meters tall. Most of my height comes from the length of this leg bone over here. So I managed to fit in very few cars comfortably. At least this one I can fit, but I literally, I can't move my legs with this current position. So the seats will most probably have to be forward for me to fit. Um, I will also show in this video a comparison of me sitting behind the three door Jimny. And I must say, while I'm at it, I really love the Jimneys. I really love these vehicles. Um, I've had so much fun ever since I purchased mine and we've been doing the upgrades and it's been so amazing. So I can see we've got a window lock button over there and uh, the two back windows can be controlled from that centerpiece over there. But I believe there's also a button over here to control the window so you can put it up or down over here also. So that's quite nice if you've got children at the back you can use those to close the windows and lock it because sometimes you've got young kids, it could become a dangerous situation. They open the windows and uh, you want that to be safe for them. Okay, so this is me basically sitting in the back of the three door chimney and for me to fit behind here, let me just try and sit a bit more back. The seat can move back a bit more. So I'll try and pull it back. It's just very tight in here and uh, in my application, I don't use the back seats. So, yeah. The passenger can have that much space. If you look there, sorry, the car's a bit messy. We went on an adventure and uh, never had time to clean it yet, but uh, gonna get that done soon. So I've got all my recovery gear that I had to move uh, in order to sit at the back here and just show you the difference. But it's a lot easier to get in and out of the five door. There's windows that I've added on, but this is a custom thing that I got from Jimny Wild and uh, shout out to them or some guys. And uh, yeah, this is basically the space in the three door. Okay, so I'm sitting here. Very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. I like this screen. I like the fact that Suzuki has kept it very similar to the three door. Um, the one thing I really like over here is this, where you can adjust the lights up or down. Um, the three door doesn't have that. Also, this one is parking sensors, I see. And uh, you can watch the headlights, that three door has that. Um, 
I did mention this over here. If you've got children and they're opening the windows and they're, they're playing around, it can become a bit dangerous. You can actually close the windows and then press window lock over here to completely seal it off. But let's just turn on the console so that we can see what comes up over here. So the aircon is exactly the same. We've got the auto button on the driver's side over here. You press it, it's going up. Press it, it's going down. On the passenger side, it's uh, you have to keep holding it, just like the three door. Um, over here, the traction control buttons, just the same, hill descent control. Um, and the aircon, very much the same. What is different over here and what stands out immediately is this big touch screen, which is so amazing. And also this new gauge over here that they have. I love the fact that it's in black and white. Um, it's just much more easier to see. It's nicer. It just has a nice cleaner feel for me personally. Um, and I love that. So I quickly just want to look through this. Um, let's just press home. And this is very nice because this infotainment system is actually linked to the vehicle's ECU. So you can see the average fuel economy, the range up here. And you can also most probably see it down here. And you can also see the instant fuel economy. I'm assuming when you accelerate, it's showing you how much you're using in real time. And it's got the temperature there, just like the other Jimny. Um, it's also got seatbelt warnings, which I would have loved to hear how they sound when they they go off. But the average fuel economy, the range, and the tank, the average speed, this is quite nice. So you can actually see your average speed on your trip. You don't have to look at it on a GPS. You've also got your driving time, which is quite nice. This is awesome. And then you can switch it off. I see currently it's an instant fuel economy. The car is currently off, so it wouldn't show that. This is very nice because it shows you on your different trips how much you used. And uh, so we made the most saving on that trip, which is really, really cool. Okay, let's see if it shows that the doors are open. One door is open. Might not be PDI'd yet, so it's quite interesting. It also has a low fuel alert over here, uh, seatbelt warning, which is quite nice. Now, the general feel in here is pretty much similar to the three door, um, which is very nice. You're not losing much on this car. You're not actually, it's not getting too long. Um, it's pretty much the same. I see the standard armrest should also fit here, but uh, it will cover these windows, but window buttons over here. You might have access to the, the rear window lock uh, just to control that for kids but the cubbyhole, very similar, same. Very nice car, very, very nice. Okay. It's very nice. I'm just going to depress the clutch and I'm gonna start it. Very nice. Still got the handle, very nice. It's got foldable mirrors. Which is really nice. If you're bushing through the bush, you can actually fold your, your mirrors in and then you can fold them out again. That is so cool. So awesome. So another thing you will notice over here on the wiper handle is it's actually got a 
toggle for the speed of the intermittent wiper which the three door gen 4 glx doesn't have which is really cool this is awesome it's a good addition Okay, so currently I've set the seat slightly forward so that I'm comfortable as a driver. I've got about that much space. Let's see if I can fit in the back now. The doors in the Jimny are a bit small. It is a small car. Being very careful of the pillar over here. It's still, still is a bit tight. Still is a bit tight over here at the back. But one nice thing, one nice thing I like is uh, you can actually, you have a window button here at the back. You can open this window. You don't have to put custom windows like I did on uh, Optimus. And it's also got those window controls over there. Plus, it's got this extra boot space over here. So you can carry two other people apart from you and your passenger. You can carry two more passengers. And you've got a bit of space here for their bags and things. And this is quite cool, it's awesome. So according to my calculations, as you can see, there's a line there where the carpet actually folds up so you can access the tools. And that's about where the three door boot space would end when the seats are up. And the extra space over here beyond that line is the extra addition to the five door chimney. So I quickly want to run through the length once again. We've got both cars parked pretty much on par. The front wheels are lined up in terms of the centers and also the lights. We've got the blue one, which is the three door and the white one, which is the five door. And as you can see, as we walk through the difference in the length of the wheelbase of the five door as compared to the three door, the three door ends over here and the five door goes all the way up to there. So in this video, you see a few extra mods on the Blue Jimny Optimus that we're working on. And I haven't yet shown you the updates and the, the modifications themselves in process because we're just waiting for the agreement from the manufacturers. So the rear bumper, the ladder, the roof rack, the lights on the roof rack and the front bumper. It's all still to come. I will show you what manufacturer that is and how to install it. It's actually quite easy and it gives your vehicle a bit more clearance on the approach and departure angles. These rock sliders are a lot stronger and I will do individual videos on them. So stay tuned and look out for that. The one thing I noted is the five door will definitely need a longer rock slider as this line on the side of the door at the bottom there is a bit longer. Okay, so another difference you'll notice if you look under the rear of the vehicle, just above the diff, there's no light sensor and light sensor bracket. And that's because they've given a button adjuster like other cars, where you can adjust your lights up or down, which I think is really cool because sometimes the bracket idea, which could be a good idea in some instances if it's set right, could become a bit of a hindrance and uh, become a bit annoying if it goes off uh, it's always nice to be able to set the lights yourself uh, in terms of how high you want them to aim and uh, so forth so in conclusion when you have both cars parked together it's not actually that much longer 
and it's not that much weight that's been added to the vehicle and I don't think it warrants the change of an engine. I was one of the people before I actually saw the cars parked together, I was one of the people who thought uh, it would have been nice to have a bigger engine but in this case from the changes which are not so substantial it doesn't warrant a bigger engine however it would be nice to have a bit more power but um, I like the engine and the setup it is because it's very reliable as you can see I'm looking at the five door engine right now and it is exactly the same as the three door engine which I'm going to show you next everything is in the same position same heat shield just on Optimus you'll see that the heat shield is different because we've changed some things around there to do with our mods that we're doing on the channel. This is a channel that's into builds and mods. So that was one of the mods that we're doing and you received an update on that. And that is a Viper Performance Exhaust. So as you can see, the engine in the three door K15B is the same engine in the five door K15B. The setup, the layout, pretty much the same if there are any differences, they're so small that I didn't notice them. And yeah, in conclusion, it's a very nice vehicle also. Uh, it doesn't take away the Jimniness from the Jimny. Many people were worried about a five door coming out and there was talk and mention that maybe it would ruin the whole idea of the Jimny. But in my opinion, after comparing the two side by side, it is a very small difference and that white one which is a five door is still a Jimny and it just allows you to do a bit more it's a bit more flexible easier to get into the back seats a bit more space for luggage and it works well for a young family special thank you to suzuki port elizabeth for allowing us to do this comparison and to come in and look at the three door versus the five door allowing me to bring my vehicle onto the showroom to actually do this comparison. Thank you so much. Much appreciated from FE Builds. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more mods that are coming up. It's going to be awesome.